Welcome to the race maze of misfortune. Bom, 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 bom. Here we have Cowardly Carter. Today we're going to see uh, how, <laughs> how quickly... <laughs> Hi, Carter, how are you? <laughs> Today we're going to see uh, how quickly Cowardly Carter here can navigate the maze, uh, maze race of misfortune. You see it right here, all right? It goes all the way over there. Uh, it does go this way a little bit, but, you know, I, I'll block that off because I don't want to get him too scared. Now, we know he's a little bit cowardly, so, it, you know, he may need a a little bit of incentive to get going to start the race you know because he's just sat there with his umbrella waiting for it to rain it's not going to happen bro it's not raining today you've got a race all right do some cardio so as a little incentive i thought we could maybe uh oh no let's put down larry the ogre larry how are you today mate jesus you look uh, um absolutely beautiful have you done something with your hair <laughs> So, Larry, you're going to have to chase Cowardly Carter, all right? Because he's he's ta he's not doing his cardio. He needs to get through the maze. Let's do this. Get him, bruv. Uh, Larry? Okay, let's try that again. Unfortunately, uh, Larry had a bit of an anxiety attack there. So, we're going to try this again. Okay, you ready, Cowardly Carter? Do this. Go. Run. You're supposed to run. What the hell do you just throw him? Jesus Christ! Larry, you have to give him a chance, bruv. Come on, what the hell was that? What did you just... Look at his axe! What did you just throw at him? That's not cool, mate. Okay, this time we're going to put Cowardly Carter a little bit closer. We're going to even point them in the right direction to where they have to go, all right? Put a, put a couple of them. A couple of them here. There we go. And then we're going to put Siren Head behind them. <laughs> oh, God, look at this. Imagine turning around and being like, oh, God. Okay, you should be able to do it now, Carter. Come on. You've got this, bruv. You've got this. All you need to do... Look, you don't even need to make it to the end. Just make it to your, your brethren over here. It's Cowardly Carter's brethren. Look at this. This is the finish line. Can you do it, Siren Head? Make sure to, you know, give him a, a head start. Just a little bit, just to get him going, all right? Three, two, one. Let the races begin. No, you're turning around, so you should be running right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it looks like Cowardly Carter did win uh, against... <laughs> against this freak. I know he's just committing suicide. Uh, they don't seem to be running near the edge, though. Let's try that one more time. Okay, I've never in my life seen uh, such such lazy people that, that don't want to do cardio that much. They'd rather just die. So this time, uh, he's going up against the Ultimasaurus. This T-Rex here has got spikes on the, the end of his head. Don't call him a something head, all right? Don't call him that. If, if anyone in the comments calls him a spike head, that's completely racist against T-Rexes. I don't want that, all right? Okay, let's, let's do this. I'm going to put the camera right here this time i want you to run past the camera guys all right uh, and just be like ah and then one of you goes does a thumbs up and goes i'm about to win winning all right that's how i want it to go and go you're not you're not doing they're running they're running here they go yeah <laughs> go guys Woo! go guys oh Oh, no. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. These two are just going to commit suicide because they don't want to do cardio and they don't want to die. Come on. You just get at least a little bit far. Oh, look at this one. Look at this dude. He's finding a new way. Oh. Oh, no, he's back up. He's still going. <laughs> Go on, Geezer. Oh, mate. Oh, I was rooting for him. I was rooting for him. He actually, this is the, the furthest they got. And then the T-Rex just, I like the way they commit suicide after this in this game. Very, very dark. Uh, this one made it the farthest. Dude, I'm proud of this bloke. I didn't think he, he was going to make it that far. Do you see him detouring? Can we get a quick replay on that? He, uh, want the, when the box got in front of him there, T-Rex smashed a box in front of him. He took a detour. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love the, the, uh, spur of the moment tactics right there. Aha! So here we are on Pyramid City. This is where, well, I made this actually. Me and the Mines made this back in the day. Uh, I did help quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, it's Halloween here too. Now, I, I've, like looking at this, it kind of reminds me of Gladiators. You remember that show Gladiators? Uh, I'm not sure whether people are going to be able to like climb up it, but I know for a fact they're going to be able to fall down it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these geezers here, all right? No, we don't need you. We don't need no King Kong stuff going on today, all right? We're going to get ourselves some commandos, all right? Commandos right here. They're going to be like, oh my god. We, we've just found a new species of freak. We're going to kill it. And then the new species of freak is going to be uh, zombie SpongeBob. Alright? Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> now what I'm hoping is going to happen is they're going to start to shoot and then they're going to start falling down. They're going to be like, oh shit. SpongeBob's going to back them up with his mighty paws uh, and they're going to fall down the steps. And then at the bottom of the steps, 
We're going to put two Xenomorphs. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, they're jiggling. Look at them jiggle. Yeah. Two joiving, <laughs> joive turkey Xenomorphs. Beautiful. Now, what I think may happen is the Xenomorphs are going to start coming up just like in the movie Gladiators. They're going to start coming up the steps towards these guys. But, oh, I can't wait to see this. This is going to be a battle of the ages. Go. Yeah, start shooting. SpongeBob comes in, starts hammering them in the head. This one's falling off. They've started to fall down. SpongeBob's farted. They're falling down the steps. The Xenomorphs are trying to get up, but they can't because they're jiving as turkey legs. Uh, uh, I don't know. They're, they're very weak. Oh, my God. They're, <laughs> they're definitely falling down the steps. Xenomorphs at the bottom here are just like, oh, here they come. <laughs> What's going on up there? Look at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. One of them just got hit. Let's go up and have a look and see what SpongeBob's doing. Where's SpongeBob? SpongeBob, what are you doing, Bob? He's falling down the steps. Look at this guy. He's one-handed. Shoot. He's just hip firing at him. He don't care. He don't care, guys. What's going on down here? The, the soldiers are getting very, very close to the Xenomorphs. The Xenomorphs can't seem to do anything about it, though. You know what? Oh, well, the Xenomorphs is down. Well, um, this reminds me of at the end of, is it Alien vs. Predator? Comment down below. I don't know what movie it's from. Uh, where there's like this giant pyramid and the aliens are coming up and the Predator's on the top like, wah, 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 wah. Look at this. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> What's happened to this Xenomorph? I think that the soldiers may actually win this. SpongeBob, you're not doing nothing, bruv. SpongeBob's just being a complete idiot. He farted at the start. I'm not sure what that was about. All right, so Xenomorphs, we're going to have to do something about you guys, all right? So SpongeBob here uh, against the, the army, and we're also going to put a couple of Xenomorphs. They're, they're on a different team, all right? But we're going to see who's going to fall down the steps first. Comment down below who you think's going to fall down the pyramid first. Let's get straight into this. Oh, <laughs> Maybe do it like that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm new. Fight! Yeah! Oh, the Xenomorph runs straight. <laughs> the Xenomorph just fell instantly. He took a soldier with him, though. SpongeBob's farting as usual. The other Xenomorph fell down the stairs and... What the fuck? What the... He's, he's doing a handstand. Okay. SpongeBob is like the king of this. I really want to see... Jesus! Oh, SpongeBob's going down to fight the Xenomorph. Yeah, bruv. Do it. He's just killed the Xenomorph. <laughs> Go, yeah, go uh, one, one hip fire, Harry. He took a knee. SpongeBob, bro. That's insane. I want to see what's going to happen uh, versus SpongeBob. All right, SpongeBob versus the Xenomorphs because they... SpongeBob seems to be very overpowered. <laughs> ah, the pyramid of Tutankhamun. Oh, the history behind this battle goes down in history. Uh, <laughs> I've opened up the skylight, all right, to let some more light in on this epic battle today. We have three Xenomorphs. Bum, 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 bum. Put some epic music here, Carter. Yeah, just like that. Uh, up against SpongeBob Fart Pants. I really want to see firsthand his farting abilities because we've only seen it at a distance so far. Who do you reckon is going to win this? Comment down below. Don't cheat, all right? Don't watch it and then be like, yeah, I this win. Are you ready? Let's fight. Go! Oh my god! Oh, they're taking him down the steps! <laughs> one of them's already died. The other one... Where's the other one gone? It's just one Xenomorph versus SpongeBob that's stuck in the damn steps. <laughs> He's out. He didn't even use his fart technique. I'm not sure what was wrong with that. Are both Xenomorphs down? Where's Animate? One? Where's... There's another one. Where's the third Xenomorph gone? Zenny? Zenny? Oh god, it's happening. It's happening at the base. Jesus Christ, SpongeBob. How are you so tough? He's so tough. He hasn't even farted yet. Go on, Zen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can we get a replay of that? SpongeBob just smacked him around the face with a metal hammer. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? No, he's trying to bend over. He's not going to do you like that, bruv. Oh, my God. SpongeBob, mate. SpongeBob. Yes, you know this place well. It's time for the main event of the evening. In the red corner. Weighing in that, uh, I'm not really sure. He looks like an idiot, to be honest. Uh, he comes from downtown New York City. He is the web slinger of madness. He is the... Uh, a Spider-Man. Give him a cheer. Yay. In the blue corner, weighing in at an astounding uh, 50,000 pounds, all of which is body fat. Uh, he's new to the ring. He's never had a fight in his life, but he's willing to take the chance. It's Larry the Ogre. Beautiful character. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, uh, we have seen him firsthand throw something really weird out of this, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Spooderman, I have yet to see your powers. This is the first time I spawned you. It looks like he's got, uh, is, is that missiles on his hands? 
It's like Mecha Spider-Man. He's also got the, the good spider pincers out the back there. I like it. I like it. Beautiful. Also got the armor. I think he's, I think Larry's is going to kill him with, with ugliness, to be honest. Let's see how it goes. Comment down below who you reckon's going to win. Let's get straight into this. Fight! Jesus. Oh, they're grappling hook. Dude, why is this always... <laughs> the first match of the finale is always like that. Dude, what is that? You just killed him outright. So those aren't missiles on, on Spider-Man. Apparently, they're, uh, they're like grappling hooks, which makes sense because he's Spider-Man. Uh, Larry, you didn't even put up a, a trick. Can we get a replay of that? I think Larry hit him with at least one thunderbolt from his massive axe there. Uh, but then Sp Spider-Man just... Seemed to, like, catapult towards him with his web slingers and then just, like, just killed him in a couple of punches. Okay, so it looks like Spooderman is by far one of our, our personal favorites. The skill in this man is absolutely insane. We're going to have to put him against something a little bit more attack ability 5,000, if you know what I mean. Uh, so we're going to put him against Grexy. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, Grexy's got quite a lot quite a lot of stuff going on with him right now. He's got dynamite on the end of what looks like a tumor uh, boxing glove thing. Uh, if we look up top here, he's got eyes, uh, but it looks it's just covered in shields. I think you're going to have quite a little bit of work here, but you know, you've got your, your web slingers. You could web sling up and maybe uh, hit him somewhere. Look, this guy's so armored. Jesus. Maybe in his mouth. Anyway, let's do this, Spidey. Go. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, he tried to blow Spider-Man up with that weird tumor he's got. Spider-Man can't even get to him right now. He's just, he's just getting boxing gloved. Not only... Who won? Who won? Did Spider-Man win that? Spider-Man won that? What the f How did you even win? What happened? Dude, this guy is insane. Okay, so for the final fight, uh, Spider-Man, who is now 2-0 and zero in the uh, ring of Plank Dini right now. Uh, actually, comment down below. What? Because uh, we use this map quite a lot for the finale fight. Comment down below what we should call this this ring right here. This very sexy ring. For now, I'm going to call it the ring of Plank Dini. So 2-0 and oh, uh, in the ring of Plank Dini right now. He's going to go up against... What, what I think is going to be his toughest opponent yet, it is God. <laughs> As you can see, God has similar spiky, spiky Spider-Man things going on on his back, so I thought it may have been like uh, a more even... I don't know. I don't, uh, his name's God, so I'm thinking he's going to be pretty powerful. Uh, he's also got a, a fist coming out his head uh, and also got more fists coming out his arms. He looks terrifying. It should work. Anyway, fight. Go! Spooderman doing his technique. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait a minute. What the? F what? What the? F hey, Spiderman! What the hell is this? Spiderman! Spiderman! Why do you not have a face? Why is it a skeleton under there? So uh, I'm not sure if you even caught that. God is obviously overpowered as hell. Uh, he just did a little tippy tumble there and just crushed him outright. God is very strong and obviously weighs quite a bit because it just broke Spider-Man's armor in an instant. So what we're going to do with all of these, we're actually going to put them up against, uh, put like the, the winners of every episode. We're going to put them up against like the, the winners of other episodes, if you know what I mean. So uh, who do you reckon is going to win? Do you reckon we should do a, oh, I just realized you've got spikes on your face. Beautiful. Let's put, what do you reckon if we put God up against uh, SCP-086, I think it is, in the next episode? What do you reckon? about that comment down below and let me know because oh no scp049 that's the one what do you reckon about these two because these two are very powerful uh, if you haven't seen the other episodes go to the playlist link at the top of the description uh, to see this guy scp049 is a one hit wonder every single person he hits dies on the first hit and then god by the looks of it has the same power so if you want to see this make sure to like the video and comment down below i'll see you in the next one Peace out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you everyone for becoming members on the channel. Today's pirate shout out are Antonia Raphael, Oi, I, ah. Stephen Dogger, Jacob Brotherton, Zach Martinez, Stephine Clark, Wesley Gibbons, Timio, and Selectra. You want to click that little join button right below if you want to become a member of the channel, get a shout out and other rewards such as sexy little badges next to your name in the comments. And if you go for the top tier, I would personally roast your friends on a video. Thanks, guys.